Good morning. This is not a review video. This is just me talking with you and visiting here um, where I play my instrument. Uh, the Seidel Symphony Grand Chromatic. You might have an interest in seeing where I actually hang out most of the time when I play music. I have this piano here, see? And there's my computer and the stereo's over there. This is the light, that big white thing. It's a huge kind of a soft box and then, you know, more piano and up there's my fireplace and back there's my guitar. That's what all this, so anyway, I hang out here in this chair. And if you look at the floor, you'll see that a lot of the finish, this is kind of interesting. <laughs> look how the finish is all worn off on the floor from me sitting practicing there. Isn't that weird? Anyhow, what we're talking about this morning, again, is that the Seidel Symphony Grand Chromatic is the first pain in the ass free harp, in my opinion. And what I'm talking about there is that most of the time when we're putting together a harp, after taking the, the mouthpiece off, um, we are juggling multiple parts trying to keep them lined up and put a bumper through it. And, you know, the, the spring pops off this and then there's the risk of scratching the slide and it is a juggling act. But I am no longer a juggler because this harp doesn't need any of that stuff. I'm gonna change the camera view now, getting rid of... Uh, that stuff so I can come down here and show you what I want to show you. Okay, well first off, and you might say, well, you know, how come is this? What's what's going on? Mouthpiece screw, mouthpiece screw. They don't come from the top, they come from the bottom. But uh, to get off the slide, okay, if I want to just wipe the slide down, I just push the button in a hair, I take my screwdriver, I'm just screwing it out a little bit, okay, that much. Then I grab a hold of it and pull it down. That's it. Now, the slide springs over on this side, not over here. And if you want to put it in, it's just the reverse, see? And so, uh, that's it. And then you tighten up the screw. And these screws don't come out because they have a little lock screw on the inside to keep this mouthpiece screw from coming out. So that's easy, okay? But then there's even more easy. That's just the beginning of the easy. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna deconstruct my harp a little bit for you. I don't normally do this. I don't really like to take apart the harp all the time, but I will do it for you to show you what I'm talking about. Now, um, we've already unscrewed this other side because we got the slide out now. Okay, now I'm going to pull this other one. This is on the other side of the harp, okay? Now, at this point, that mouthpiece can come off, okay? And here we've got uh, what I call a flat blank. And um, so you got this flat blank that's double thick. You got the mouthpiece and you got this. Now, here's the cool part. Suppose that you want to put the harp together, okay? I just, you see how I take these little mouthpiece screws and just push them up? Now that's, that's the mouthpiece screw and the bumper. Now, watch how easy it is. And of course, my slide spring's over here. So this is how easy it is to construct this thing. I just lay that in place. It plops over the holes. I don't have to sit and juggle anything. It's lined up properly just based on the way that Seidel designed this. Now, if that's not enough to make you excited and salivate and get all happy and everything, let's take a look at how easy it is to complete the, um, the construction. I just take the mouthpiece and plop it it's, it's simply plopped into position, 
Then I come under here and I just screw this screw in a little bit. Okay. Now, this whole thing's lined up properly. I didn't have to juggle any parts at all. Then I can take my slide and I put that in like that and I come in here. And ladies and gentlemen, that completes the entire construction. And then I just tighten up my covers. I loosen up the covers in case they happen to be grabbing the mouthpiece a little bit. I always do that too. But I'll tell you what, and I'm going to change the camera view back to what we were doing before. <laughs> I have spent a lot of time sitting, and of course I like to adjust these screws so that they're quite loose. It's so precisely fit that it's totally airtight. But I have spent so much time over the years taking apart harps and lining up those mouthpiece blanks and the slide. And, you know, sometimes the slide pops off the spring here. And just, it's just, it's a, it's a pain in the butt. But this harp is pain in the butt free. And... I don't really picture myself doing a whole lot with harps that are a pain in the butt because I like this. And so I'm just saying, all you got to do is line up those parts. It's all automatic. You know, you, you take and push the little screws up, drop down the uh, flat blank. You don't even put the slide in. You just put on the mouthpiece, screw it here and here, or, or screw it down on this side, then come over, slide in, put in the slide, tighten this in. It's, you're done. That's it. So it, it's ended all of the difficult juggling of parts. And, and in my opinion, that is probably, you know, putting aside sound and air tightness. I mean, if I had to just say what really is something I really, really, you know, like about this harp, I'd say that's kind of it, is that it's the first pain in the ass free harp. Seidel, Saxony, Grand Chromatic. I got the ALU, but I'd like to get my hands on one of those green acryls to test it. Maybe I can get lucky and borrow one from somewhere.